Hello YouTube, it's Yaga. Uh, I want to mention some things, and I really, I really need to say this. Um, first things first, I'm sorry for the lack of videos. Um, I've been extremely busy this past month with a lot of stuff, and the temperature hasn't always been the most kindest when it comes to being sitting down and playing a game even with, even with my fan on it disrupts the flow of the game like you can tell there's some background noise going on when I'm trying to record that's a big problem so again I want to apologize I also want to apologize I believe it's Assassin's 85 Creed um, if I got it wrong please correct me I know you've been commenting on my videos lately so again if I'm wrong please uh, correct me the reason why I want reason why I want to apologize is because he was like, really excited for me to do Legend of Dragoon, but lately I've seen a problem with the Legend of Dragoon playthrough, and I really need everyone, including you, Assassin, Rezo Basso, if you watch my videos, please comment. I would really, I would really appreciate it and be honored if you can comment on the quality on this particular issue. Zero. Anyone else who follows me, comment, please. I really need to know. As you guys know, I've been wanting to do a Legend of Dragoon playthrough for a while. I've been saying that for quite a bit. I was really excited when I showed you guys my Legend of Dragoon case. Um, I was going to be doing some videos, you know. Now, if you watch either videos 2 or 3, uh, specifically 3 since it's right, continuing from the battle I was in, or the training I was in, showing you the additions, you know, and the, the master who taught Dart how to fight, basically. Go into that video and look at the part where I believe it's 13 seconds in. I'm not quite sure, but I believe it's 13 seconds in where you see Dart's photo come up in the battle screen so you can select what you want to do. The Dart's picture is very lighted. Like, you can see it's bright. And I know somewhere around someone watching that video, if I've ever, if I ever keep it up, someone's going to comment on that video saying that. The quality on that picture sucks. It's bright, and you know what? After I didn't, I actually did not see that. I actually overlooked that until I looked at my next six videos I had planned to upload for Legend of Dragoon. I was really far actually, and I noticed that issue. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, no, 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 no. See, I don't like that. So I've tried recording it two to three other times, all trying to tweak the uh, camera settings, tweaking the uh, TV settings, and still nothing. So, I, I think it's a problem because of the camera itself, not, not the settings, not the TV settings. So, the question I want to ask you is, how do you find that particular part of the video in terms of the battle screen? And not just the battle screen with the picture, but the text box, too, I've noticed is kind of bright as well in some areas. Please tell me if that's a problem for you. If you were a viewer, and you were viewing my video, and you were, and you were subscribing, or you were watching my videos because I was interesting, if you, how would you respond to that? Would you think that will be a problem? Because I want to make my videos as good as possible with the stuff I have. But if, my, if the stuff I have is not making the video quality good, then there's a problem. And I really need someone to address that. And Rezo, you've been particularly making videos that's actually quite professional, I want to say. And you've said that in one of your other videos. You really want, it's not a real professional, but you want to make it as professional as you can. So I need your input on this, really. Now, just leads me to my next statement that if it's a problem for you guys, that means I'm gonna have to do something that is really gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to do something that's gonna eventually have to be done at some point. But I'm gonna have to do it effectively, immediately, and eventually at some point I'll have what I need. Basically, I need to upgrade my PC. And the specs is just horrible. It's a Dell computer, and the, not and the, in technical terms, it's been obsolete for eight years. So I'll leave that to your imagination. How crappy my computer is. It's great for surfing the web and chatting on like the IRC or MSN. It's stuff. It's good for it's good for that. Yeah, and e even some of the other video editing programs I had it was still pretty decent, except from. Except for Windows Movie Maker, oh my god, you do not understand how much I loathe that particular program. I loathe it, and I hate Microsoft. 
besides that, I would have to upgrade my PC with, I don't want to say the latest technology, but something much better. And I've talked to a whole bunch of people, they gave me a list of building my own and how much it would it cost, and I've seen, and I saw another pre-built computer that was actually pretty decent. It was actually maybe, maybe $20, a little bit more than actual pre-built, pre-built, um, or building your own list of um, things I need. So it came out to be around like 500, um, between 533 for the list of building your own or 559 for the pre-built model. I don't think I'm gonna be getting it. It's basically an HP computer and I know some people said the HP isn't really like, good. But I don't know. I, I heard otherwise. I heard HP is a pretty, pretty decent computer for what you're trying to do. Basically, I'm looking into specs that will allow me to record HD quality video and video playback on the computer and and then a computer and a processor the, the processor to allow me to actually edit HD video and I don't have to worry about waiting for hours for it to actually do its job on top of that I would ha actually have to get a new recording system which right now is looking to be the hot podge HD PVR the same thing as Xerox Shinobi and I'm looking at between seven seventy nine I would say or about eight hundred dollars for all of it combined excluding the mic of course but I'm thinking I'm just gonna get the mic um, separately sometime in the coming months so if LOD's playthrough is bad and you don't like that particular section and I know I don't but I would still like to hear your input. I'm thinking about postponing my Legend of Dragon playthrough. And at some point, I'm going to have to delete the first four videos. I'm thinking about leaving the four videos, at least right now, as a test. I'm probably going to be editing um, the titles and all that and the descriptions to say this is just a test for now. And I'm, I'm, I'm accepting all opinions, all statements regarding the quality issue. With that said, now on to something else. This is another thing I would like some of you guys to at least give me some feedback on. Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough. I still have not continued that and I left off to where it was, playthrough 20. Would you want me to, again, do the same thing as Legend Dragoon and completely hold off on that and wait until I get the new recording system and the new computer, but at the end it'll probably take me into like maybe, I want to say February 2011 before I get all the stuff ready and able to get it? Or would you want me to just continue with the camera as best as I can with the quality I can for now? Stretch out the stretch out the uploading days where now I'll just upload like maybe like three videos a week instead of the bunch load I've normally done. And stretch it out and wait until another game comes along for me to do a playthrough of whenever that be. Again, I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to anything you guys want to say in terms of that. So that's basically it. I mean, that's basically what I've been really been meaning to tell you guys, and I hope this really comes out good. I'll be leaving a link on the description of this video vlog of what the problem is for the Legend of Dragoon playthrough and that particular one problem I've noticed. I'm not going to show you guys every single problem, like the battle, the text box between commentating and all that. I'm not going to do that. Now, onto something else. As you guys well know, the uploading limit has been increased to 15 minutes standard on YouTube now for all users, which is good. So now I don't have to worry about how long my video is. On the, uh, now, I want to show you guys something. You know, I, as you, I don't think I told you guys, but my sister actually went to the Comic Con in San Diego this year, and she got me back some things. And I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the stuff she got me. Now, if I can just find that particular one. All right. Just one minute, guys. I have to get everything ready again. Um, one minute. Sorry about that, guys. All right. All right. First thing is, uh, this is actually something different. I figured I'd show you guys this since you know I haven't really showed you guys anything new. This. As you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, if you got, basically, if you've seen the cartoon, I don't. I think it's on Channel Five or Channel Eleven. I, um, I can't remember. But if you ever heard of the cartoon called Ben Ten Alien Force or just Ben Ten in general, 
that is basically an, an, the image of Ben's Omnitrix device that allows him to actually turn into uh, monsters. Which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I actually, yes, I watched that show. I've watched a lot of the shows, actually. I actually do kind of enjoy it, believe it or not. Um, I don't know where you guys stand or whether the show sucks. I don't really care because I like it and that's the only thing that matters to me for now. The other thing she got me, actually she's got me a couple more things. First things first, this is basically just things of Square Enix products like this. These are all um, Final Fantasy 13 uh, necklaces and stuff like uh Final Fantasy XIII Sword, Key Ring, Lightning, and a Silver Star Pennant from Snow Villiers, and the list goes on. It goes from Capcom's Devil May Cry 4 to Konami's uh, Peace Walker. It goes to even um, Platinum Games' Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. Um, I I'll just show you that quickly. It also has Chrono Trigger 2. Uh, and this is, yep, this is Bayonetta, and that's... Uh, Jean. Uh, yeah, and it goes all the way to f Summons and Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I mean, it's basically a, um, a magazine about products that Square Enix makes. So, yeah. Oh, hold on. I have to check. Uh, sorry, I have to check. Okay, the battery is fine. It's actually really low. I might have to recharge it. The other thing my sister got me, actually, are these. Kingdom Hearts Avatar Mascots Trap. This, as Rezo Basso would kindly know, and anyone who else played the game, these, this is Cloud from Kingdom Hearts 1, and this is Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts 1 too. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 1 as well. I'm not going to be opening these. I haven't opened the other one she got me last year, which is actually the Oath, Key the Oath Keeper Keyblade. From Kingdom Hearts, which is actually a keychain. I'm not opening that because you know what? I'm a collector. I like collecting those things. And if I open them, it's going to get nasty. This is the other bullshit thing she got me. Um, you're probably wondering what this shit is. It's basically a fan. The last thing she showed me, and the last but not least, I know I'm making this video way too long, but hey, you know, I like talking. Oh, yeah, baby. What does this show you? This, my friends, is. Tonberry with a little knife and I'm not sure what this was. I'm I want to say it was um an hour uh time um oh, what the fuck? a lantern or something that has something to do with the time. I don't even know something like that. I know Zero wanted to see this thing. So, that's basically it, guys. That's basically all I have for this vlog. It's always a long vlog, and since YouTube doesn't really give a shit now about the length, I decided to combine this with that and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Um, please, please comment about the two games, Kingdom Hearts 1 and Legend of Dragoon. I really want to know. I'm still thinking about postponing Legend of Dragoon for now. K Kingdom Hearts 1, I may continue. If you guys want it, I'll be continuing with it, even though this might not be the greatest quality. But hey, I can live with that, as long as anyone else doesn't care. I'll do it to the best of my ability, and I hope you guys understand I understand it. So, again, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see Rezo Basso's new playthrough on Chains of Memories, and I can't wait to see Zero Action Obi's new videos on whatever he's doing. Peace.